So, you want a map for real beats. This is a video for the players who want in the community who want to get into mapping. While on your journey, you'll encounter ups and downs throughout your mapping career. You might get some old subs or bees in the in the in the beginning, which I will explain in the trailer portion. Of course, all of these sections will be timestamped in the description below or on your timelar. Well, you can just scroll through if you already know some of these steps. While on your journey, you gotta learn how to actually have the navigation of the Trello, the rules, and the cha channels through the Discord server for Robeats Works. And right now, we'll get onto that like right now. This is the Robeats Discord. Of course, I will add the description below on how to get into the Robeats Discord. It's quite simple, there's a Discord link below. First, what we have is mapping information. Mapping information is all the submissions, all the submissions, like all like the criteria of the basics of submitting a map. Right now, you will see a Trello, but we'll get into that last after we get into the Discord. The mapping criteria is what you must read your images will be provided by Intensity, by SpotGo, on the criteria. Of course, this is a very vague criteria, as this allows experimentation. There's no really way, way to get a good or bad map. Of course, this lists, and right now the essentials is to have correct timing, to have a complete, two, two difficulties, and to make sure you do not at all have corrupted maps or crash maps as that will get you blacklisted and you will not be able to be accepted or submissions ever to the Robies Discord again unless you open a ticket which I'll explain later. The mapping FAQ is what is provided for common questions you can find. Of course, the, this will be all found in the Robies Discord. This is the mapping tutorial for Mania, and this is the mapping place that's uncopy locked, meaning this will be for the for the servers or your personal RCS, which will be explained by Fatality inside a customer server discussion, and I will put that in the description as well. That's in the custom server info. Below. Mapping announcements will provide you what is closing and the new songs, such as the new the new batches, James Lar James Landino, XC was added recently, and he'll provide that in the Trello. Song pulling is where you choose community maps and songs. And your mapping hangout is a place where you can talk with your friends and much more. And also, you can also provide about mapping as well. Mapping feedback is a place they can submit your own maps, whether it's for Robeats or not, to be reviewed and have feedback from your fellow mappers alike. Custom servers discussion and will be about custom servers and this will mostly be explained by Fatality. And that's about it for the Discord. Once you're done, we can head on to the Trello, which I'll be put up right now. Okay, so this is the Trello. Right, as you can see here, it's very basic. It'll be easy to understand, even though it seems complicated, unless or not, to you. You do not need to have an account to use Trello, as I already have one. Mapping information as already provided by the Discord. And this is the requested songs that you have to map. You cannot map and submit your own songs due to copyright and it's part of the rules and mapping information that you should have read. Submission maps is all the maps that has been submitted but not reviewed so far. These may be already closed, so check out the mapping announcements if you do not know this. Old subs is not following the criteria. B is following some of the criteria or have a map that is slightly not the best. A is very well, follow all criteria, or miss the one. This might be just because your map is slightly worse or 
or by opinion of the reviewers, not worthy for the game, not as worthy for the game as the accepted tab, where all of these mappers and maps will be put in the game. Of course, there is different payments. Solo is five thousand. One diff is two thousand five hundred. And collabs may vary, as it is portioned to each player. So let's say we have five people, which is a maximum. Everyone in the in the collab will get one thousand. Okay, so now we went to the Trello. Now let's get started with actual mapping. Okay, so now this is the place where you find your MP3s, and this is where you must map for Robies. Agartha is what I'll choose for the example, but you can choose any map that will all, that will be in this submission and request the songs. What you do is you click here. And once it starts playing, you can click the three dots to download it. Once it's downloaded, we can be on the next step. Okay, now we have an MP3 downloaded. And what you do is you find a drop an MP3 file. So what you do is you grab it. And you go, click it, and drag it. Of course, a map will be provided. And what you do now is click on the dashboard. And you'll see artist, title, difficulty, source, and tag. Well, all we have to worry about is title, artist, and difficulty. Okay, so first is XE, which is the artist name or whatever map that you're trying to find. Next is the title, which is the title of the song, which is for me, it's Argartha. Ar and difficulty. This can be anything you like, as long as not profanity. So I'll choose mine as example. And the number, you can either not or put a number for your difficulty that you're choosing. Next is the advanced tab. This is where you change the game mode to Mania, where you must map four row beats. Next you go to difficulty, and switch to four keys. HP drain and overall difficulty does not matter, but if you want a more realistic O2 experience, I will put that just in case if you want to. You get a prompt that's saying, you changed play mode. Do you want to save changes and clear all notes? Click OK. And now you get into the timing tab. The timing tab is fairly simple. Even though it might seem complicated at first, you can get timings from a provider by just asking through the Robeats Hangout or feedback or an external server that might already provide one. OK, now you're in the timing panel. Okay, so what you do is you add a plus, and you add the BPM, and you and to do that, you search via, like I said before, search via friends, colleagues, via the Robies Discord, or external server. Or you can use a website, which is not always accurate. I already have BPMs provided, so I'll put those timing points down. And if it has a BPM change, remember to have a normalization and I'll put that website as well below. Okay, now we have the whole map ready. As you can see, I already have a, a background and a storyboard, but that is not necessary at all. But you can choose one via Google Images. So, let's get started with mapping. Okay, now you have the timings and Osu ready with Mania. Right here is the increased timeline and decreased timeline. It will start standard as pretty slow, such as here. But I like to increase it as it increases the note spread between it, making it easier to map and read sometimes. When you place down a circle or a hold, it will place down a slider. This you can use for long sounds like that. And what you want to do is sync with the music by clicking on the circle in the note for the piano. Or you can have any sound with the initial note sounds. As you can see, it syncs with it. Now you can amplify the you can amplify the sound by adding 
multiple nodes into one single row. As you can see, it gives more impact to the sound and map when you play it. Of course, I will be submitting as well, or it might be, it might be retired by then. But this is the basics of your mapping journey. Once you've placed down that first note, you're already ready to go. Of course, you must follow all the criteria and find your way through. You can provide help from the mapping discord and you'll be on your way. So you might be wondering when you're mapping this test symbol. This will make sure that... So, you might be wondering while you're mapping your song, why is there a test symbol here? So what that will do, as it says, it will enter an emulation of a map. This will not. This is not the Robeats engine, as it, this is the Mania engine. To start from the beginning, you just press the stop button, or you drag through this like navigation bar to the front. Press test to turn on autoplay. Just tab, and I'll be quiet as this is an example of a Robeat submission can or, sh or should look like. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, um, if you do control shift A, you do a, um, something called AI bot, and it will do is tell you the difficulty, uh, what you have, and some warnings. You might have overlapping, which, and a timestamp. Right now, I have rare snap advisors. And of course, this will help you a lot, just in case you have overlapping notes to get you accepted. Okay. So now we have our map ready for submission. Of course, mine is not completed, so I will delete this after. But first what you do is you drag your OSC over. Then what you want to do is type in the map name. This one is XC Agartha. And then you want to do Shift Enter, or you don't have to, but I do it. To enter your username, Then what you do is you add your difficulty, which is a number that you emulated through difficulty if you played Roll Beats before. 20 is around the mid-range, and above 27 is around the hard, and 35 is really hard. Normals will usually be in the 20s or the 10s. Hards will usually be in the upper 20s or the 30s. Type in the name. So let's say I have a 20 and a 34. Once you do that, press enter. And there, your map is now submitted. You do not have to worry, do not ping Robeats Dev or Spotco because it will be added to a ticket just like this. Now you've added to Discord. Now you added it and submitted it. Now you're good to go.